who have funded her is disgusting to me. I hope you burn in hell. I hope you, you burn in hell and I hope your kids get bone cancer. I think you're horrible. You're horrible people. You're just disgusting. There's, there's no other way to see it. You know, you're, you're bad people. You back up someone who's a bad person, a genuinely bad person. So I wish you the worst. That's all. <laughs> That's all. I wish you the absolute worst. I hope you burn in hell. I hope your family does. I have no respect for any of you. You guys who gave this chick money, just disgusting. Just disgusting. Like just, ugh. Like you gave someone money who literally lost her children because of her substance abuse problem. Her kids were adopted out by somebody else and you sent her money. You sent her money. Ugh. I don't really care if you gave Kate money. I hope you get bone cancer. I think you're scum. Let me go ahead and preface this video. Let me go ahead. And, this has been on my mind. Let me go ahead and tell you. Everything I'm about to say is my opinion. Not based on fact. Partially. Partially it is. Partially it is. Uh, partially there are things, especially the thing I just posted there, right in front, uh, that kind of gives you a little bit of a truth. So let, let's talk about it for a second. What if I told you, what if I told you that Chili DeCastro wants you and your children to die. That's a pretty strong statement, right? I I don't you don't have to look very far. You can actually watch the beginning of this video where he plainly states that. And you're probably wondering, well, I've seen that before. We know that. It's just a reminder, just so you know, just so you know. Uh, you know, what if I told you that Chile de Castro and people like him want you and your children to die? That is really strong. That's that's reaching. That's really reaching. Now, there's a big thing right now on YouTube, TikTok, all over the internet. It's this First Amendment auditing thing. Now, there's some good ones. Let me go ahead and say that. Let me say there are some good ones. There are some people that are actually trying to make a change. They're not out there for the drama. They're not purposefully trying to cause issues. They're not getting into public officials' faces, screaming at them, and carrying on like some fucking retard. I'm sorry to use that word, but we're using that word. Um, and that's the truth. That's the truth. A lot of these people are fucking stupid. <laughs> really stupid. And especially our favorite toy, the one that anybody could literally beat the shit out of because we've seen in his arrest video, he can't. He can't move his shoulder. His shoulder's hurt. He got damaged. He got bruised. He had one guy take him down when he said he'll take five. He ran away from Chad Goo. He ran away. He said his knee hurt. He had bad blood pressure. Then he told you and your children, they need to die. Bone cancer. Remember that? Remember that? The one that wants to protect you and sell you his... $25 destructible, indestructible piece of shit trifold, which is not worth anything because none of the shit that's on it makes any sense to begin with. It's just cases that he does not really know the complete meaning of. He just puts them on there because they sound good. And he has his lowest common denominator of audience members and his fake bots, his fake views, his fake subscribers. You know, we know it's fake. My opinion, no. My opinion. So, why do I say that Chile wants your kids and you to die? We've been watching the news for a while. We have. We've, we've been seeing the atrocities, shootings, children dying, a lot of children dying, other people dying. Not by the hands of the police but by the hands of some people that just have have really bad problems. A lot of it stems from mental health. Right now, the biggest thing to blame now is uh, trans. And I'm not going to say it's all trans people's fault, because it's not. It just seems to be that way right now. Uh, just due to the trans hate, then the fact that some of these shooters and would-be shooters uh, are happen to be trans and they have a chip on their shoulder, so they want to kill some children out of school. Now, we watched some videos, these body cam footages, where the police go in trying to take care of the problem, risking their own lives to save some children. 
save some other people. Getting caught in the crossfire. You hear about police getting shot on the job. People like Chile want to say no. The cops are out there to kill you. They're not good cops. There's no such thing as a good cop. All cops are bad. They all want you to die. Their whole job is to come after you and kill you. Which, let's just go ahead and say it. If it was going to happen, if it was going to happen, Chile would have been dead a long time ago. Let's just go ahead and say that. Chile has proven, if he's want, if he has proven anything, he has proven that cops aren't out there to kill you. If anything, cops are trying to make other people be accountable for their actions. Now, is there good cops and bad cops? Yes, there are bad cops. They really exist. But, let me go ahead and tell you a story. Go ahead and tell you a story right now. I made a video the other day about the hospital health care system, how it's pretty bad. Now, there's good people that work for the healthcare system. There's good people who work at the hospital. But there's also people that are corrupt. They don't care what they're doing. They don't care about their patients. They don't care about anything. But does that make everybody bad? No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Right now, the media paints the police as the ultimate bad guys. Uh, most of these super woke, uh, progressive, uh, super left-leaning people, they want to defund the police, get rid of them. Chile wants all your all the cops to go. And let's go ahead and say this. What's going to happen? Let's go ahead and say it. It's going to, is Chile going to be the one to save the day? Is these First Amendment auditors going to be the ones to save the day? When somebody, somebody decides to walk into an elementary school with some guns and starts gunning down children, teachers, is Chile going to run into the uh, school and save the day since he's a wrestler, since he's never lost a fight, but for some odd reason you barely touch his shoulders and he bruises and cries? Is any of these First Amendment auditors going to hop out of their vehicles, put their phone down, and stop the shooter? No, it's not going to happen because they're pussies, most of them. Most of them are pussies. Most of them don't care. Most of them don't. And it's dangerous. It's really dangerous. And I hate to say this. I don't want to say that all First Amendment auditors are bad because they're not. Let's go and face it. They're not. There's First Amendment auditors, and then there's frauditors. And we know the difference. We talk about it all the time. Chile just happens to be a dramatic actor, but is also a frauditor. He's not doing it for the well-being and protection of citizens. He's doing it to make some money. That's why he parades children. You remember the guy, I think it was uh, Auditing America or something like that, he brought on, they was getting arrested, and he had to do a fundraiser to try to get them out and they didn't really require bell, but then after that these people start using their child to make money, begging for money because they can't stay away from trouble. They constantly get in trouble with the law, but they don't want to be accountable, just like Chile. Chile says he has no criminal record, but we've seen that. We've seen that. We're not stupid. I know I know the people that watch you, that care about you, they're fucking stupid. They're fucking retarded. Below that, below that, a bunch of degenerates. And I hate to, I hate to say it because it's, it's true. You get on there, you get on the comment section, and you see these disgusting people. Chile likes to, uh, you know, talk about Kate and Blue Bacon, especially Kate. He brings his, her kids in and says, "Oh, he, she got her kids taken away." Well, she, I mean, if she did, that's terrible. That sucks. If she had a substance abuse problem, yeah, that sucks. But from what I can tell, I can probably say that Kate's probably trying to fix her issues if she was like that. I'm not going to say Kate's like that because I don't know. I don't know what happens with Kate. But to bring in the children, what, what are you doing? You're, you're 50 years old, basically. 50 years old. And you want to bring in somebody's children because you're a fucking pussy? You know, I hate to say that. I hate to say that. These people that want these interactions with the cops, that stop the cops from doing their investigations just to get a YouTube video out there. A lot of us know it's just cringe. It's totally cringe. It's the cringiest bullshit on the internet. It is. It's just a bunch of stupid fucking idiots with cameras arguing with cops because why? Why? What's it going to do? What's it going to do? What's it going to do? It's not going to do shit. Nothing. Nothing. Are you going to 
tell you're going to get up to one of these cops and they're going to be like, well, I'm going to quit because Chili, he just really put put me in my place. I just know where I stand now. I need to quit being a cop. Oh, yeah, I'm going to stop. There's some children getting shot out of school. I shouldn't go in there because Chili says cops shouldn't exist. We shouldn't go help. We shouldn't protect the children. We shouldn't protect the citizens. Let them all get shot so Chili, you know, he can sell his trifle. So you can argue with the cops at a traffic stop. But don't worry. Don't worry. He wants your kids to have cancer, by the way. Bone cancer. And you. And you. And you. And you. And you. We've seen that. It's true. It's, it's on the video. It's on the video. It's right there. It's right there. Right there. Chili's an opportunist. He's an opportunist. Whenever he finds out that somebody got shot by the cops or for some reason, he has to jump right in. Has to jump right in so he can make that money really quick. We seen him the other day trying to file a lawsuit, his federal lawsuit, where he's trying to sue Nevada for five million dollars because he got his arm bruised. You told the cop you wanted him to suck your dick. I mean, you told me you was gonna fuck my ass, Chili. Open up, bro. Open up. What's your deal? What's your deal? What's your deal? What's your deal? Stupid fucking idiot. Yeah, I hate to bitch. I really do. I hate to bitch about it. I hate to be this mean. I hate it. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. I don't want some cop have to risk their life to go in and save some kids when most of the time these people are trying to prevent that. Chili says there's no victims in these crimes. So let's go let's go ahead and put an example. Somebody gets pulled over. They use your trifold and argues with the cops. The cops are like, okay, you can go now. You can go. That person had some guns in the back of their car. Cops didn't check it. That that guy has a warrant. Usually the cops check these things. But let, just let's let's live in Chili's world for a moment. This person has guns in their cars. Cops pull him over. Wait, there's no cops. They got to be peacekeepers. Peacekeepers pull him over. He shows his trifold. Peacekeepers, like, you can go now. Goes to a local, local grocery store. Pulls out some pistols, some shotguns, and starts firing away. Well, who's going to save the day? Who's going to save the day, Chili? Your peacekeepers? The Power Rangers? There's no cops to do it. There's no SWAT teams. There's none of that. Are you, you wanting them to go and prod them? Talk them down? You're going to be like, hey, don't shoot those people. That is really bad. We won't get you. We won't put you in the dungeon. We won't put torture cuffs on you. Just put the guns down. Put them down. Cops can't do anything because Chile, we don't have cops. We don't have cops anymore. We don't. We don't. We don't have people to protect us anymore. Is Chili going to save the day? Is Chili going to hop out of his car, grab his phone? No, Chili will grab his phone. Grab his phone, get his camera out, start recording. Is he going to just cuss the uh, the shooter out? Be like, you son of a bitch piece of shit. Uh, I can beat you up. I'm so strong. I'm so powerful. Is that that is that one's going to happen? I wrestled in the fourth grade. Oh, if you don't stop, I'm going to have sex with you. That's only if the, if it's a dude. If, if it's a dude, that's when Chili will have sex with them. Another thing Chili is getting away with his fake subscribers, which Chili, if you're watching this video, again, this is all opinions. I can't prove these things. But, but if you wanted to prove that you're not buying subs, prove it. You're not, you're not going to prove it because, A, you're a pussy. And B, you're a pussy, a giant pussy, a giant beta bitch pussy, just a giant one. Is your shoulder, is your shoulder okay? Is your ego okay? Probably not. I, I like some people ask me, like, why, why do you go back to talking about chili? I just got to thinking about this. I started thinking about what if the actions, these, this behavior was going to deter cops. Cops are already having a heart anyways. The 
media has the cops painted in a very bad light. Um, a lot of people on the left hate cops. And I'm not trying to make this political, but it's true. You know, a lot, a lot of this propaganda, this these problems, like they want cops to go away, they want to disregard the police and let crime be crime, let crime happen. The cops are afraid to go on the streets because people are pulling guns out of them. They're not just pointing cameras at them anymore. They're pointing guns at them, shooting at them, stabbing them. It doesn't really get politicized or talked about on the radio or TV, but somebody else gets shot, especially a person of color, then it's all over the news. And that's terrible. That's terrible. It's, it's awful. And like I said, like I said, that doesn't mean there's not bad cops because they do exist. They do exist. There are corrupt police. There are. The law system in the United States is not perfect. Not by a long shot. But somebody like Chile's not going to fix it. He's not going to be the governor and fix it. Chile's not. <laughs> Could you imagine Chile running as a governor when they pull out his criminal record? When they take a look at his stupid lawsuits or the time he got his feelings hurt by 10, 15, 20 people on the internet bells calling him out for his bullshit. So he cried and whined and started doxing people, started suing people, started striking people. That's not a governor. That's a pussy. A giant pussy. That's what that is. It's exactly what that is. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. He gets on there. He talks about how he's going to sue people and has this maniacal laugh like that's something to be amazed by. Like anybody can file a lawsuit. Chile hasn't won a lawsuit. He's lost every single one of them. He's not going to win this. If you give him money to file a lawsuit, A, you're wasting your money. And if you're like some of the people that follow him, you probably need that money to buy your kids some groceries, to get you some gas. To get to your job, if you have one. It's just bullshit that people like that, people like that, can say they're successful. That they're doing a whole lot of change when everybody can see that it's not working. Everybody can see that it's purely cringe. Nobody really likes chilly shit. Nobody really cares about this First Amendment auditing stuff. I mean, the frauditors. Not the auditors. Not all of them. I'm not going to generalize every single auditor. Because I'm not. I know there's good ones and I know there's bad ones. I'm not going to do what Chile does and says all of them are bad. Because that's not true. It's not true. Obviously it's not true. Some people do want change. But they don't make asses out of themselves and dramatizes these things. Chile thinks he's on the real world on MTV every day he wakes up. When he smears like the semen on his lips. That's why he has white lips. It's either semen or bleach or some coke. I don't know. It's all bad. It's all bad. It's all really bad. It's all really bad. It's all really bad. And that's why he has three channels. If you guys hopped on his Reddit, <laughs> he didn't last very long on Reddit. He didn't last very long on Twitter. He didn't last very long on Rumble. He's got more haters than he has people that like him. Most people hate watch him. He could barely scrape up the money for any of these lawsuits. He has to do scam by scam by scam. What did he do? In the last few weeks, he's basically re-uploaded every single one of his videos that he heavily edited out the bad parts, which, you know, all of us have video proof of these things of existing. It's not, it's not, it's not AI that's doing this. It's not AI. It's the truth. It's the fucking truth. Chili will probably spin it, say, oh, it's it's the AI, it's the deep fake. They're trying to make me look bad. Dude, you made yourself look bad. You made yourself look bad when you came to Ironton, when you confronted me. You fucking short leprechaun. <laughs> it's so sad. You was so small, so small. And the only thing you could tell me is that you was going to ram something up my ass. The big... The the big chili dick. Is that you got that big dick swinging thing going on? 
You got you got the big dick action going on? You don't. You wanna fight me anyways. You would just ran. Oh, you gotta sign some papers and let's go to a gym and we gotta roll around. Let's roll around. But whenever I hold you down, you'll never get me. You'll never get me because I'm so strong. I'm so strong and amazing. I'm a wrestler. I'm a UFC wrestler. I fought Joe Rogan, King Diamond, Diamond Dallas Page, Optimus Prime, Master Splinter. I've rambled for way too long. It just it just makes me sick that that exists. If you lived in Chile's world, if you agreed with Chile's worldviews, and crime just runs rampant, more people dying every day because there's nobody to protect you. Now Chile wants buses and snipers and cattle prods and 360 cameras and like this is some kind of dystopian world, which it's not. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen the way he thinks. This isn't a movie, Chili. This is real life. What you believe in, what you're trying to feed these people is dangerous. Awfully dangerous. And you don't care as long as you're getting the fame and the attention. You're not a fucking Kardashian. You're not. You're more like Amanda Bynes. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Maybe Amanda Bynes. It just it just makes me sick that this actually still exists. And the people that do support him, once there's a little bit, not a lot. Um, you know, like I said, most of his subscribers are inflated. He bought these. He paid for these. He won't prove it. He's not going to argue with it. When it comes down to it, if he was to sue somebody for that, you think he's going to bring out the evidence to say this is real? You know, YouTube YouTube does not. They, they do care if you inflate your shit, but most of the time they're not going to cancel you. Most of the time. There's loopholes now. Those exist. Those do exist. And Chili's using them. That's the one thing Chili's good at. He's good at scamming things. He's good at working around things. He's good at taking other people's money and running with it. That's one thing Chili's good at. So if I was you, if I was you, if you, you cared about your children, you cared about your well-being, and you're one of Chili's fans, Maybe you should sit back and just really think about it. Really think about it. Is Chili going to be the one to run into the school or church or grocery store to save those people from getting killed by some maniac? Are, are, is any of these frauditors going to do that for you? Are, I mean, are they? Are they going to stop, put their cameras down and go and fight them? Kill them? No. They will run away. They will run far away, and they won't return. That's why Chile runs away from every state that he has a warrant. And he will continue to do that because, A, he's a piece of shit, and he's a pussy. I gotta go.